Around 40 veterans came to Downing Street this morning to receive their awards in person from the Prime Minister. I can't think of a prouder day that I've had in this job or a group of people I'm more honoured to share it with. You're real heroes. Thank you for coming. For all those crowded into the grand surroundings of the pillared room upstairs at number 10 Downing Street, today was a momentous occasion. It's the culmination of 72 years since I first went on the Russian convoy to recognise not what I did, but what the sailors who gave their lives did. I'm not a hero, I'm a survivor. But the guys that went up there they really had it rough, and a lot of them didn't come back. More than 3,000 seamen were killed in the freezing waters of the Arctic as they worked to get supplies past German blockades to Britain's ally, the Soviet Union. It's been a long, hard fight to get a medal, and Commander Eddie Grenfell has been one of the leading figures of the campaign for recognition. At 96 and just out of hospital, he was too frail to come to Downing Street, so General Sir David Richards came to see him in Portsmouth. Thank God I'm here today to receive this. I have a feeling of uh, success winning the campaign, but uh, I've won it for the 3,000 who were not able to be here today. The Chief of the Defence Staff said he was sad so many passed away before the decision to award the medals was made. I hope that those who sort of were difficult and obstructive, whatever, I'm sure their motives were well thought through in their own minds, I hope they might ponder on that. There are thousands of people who should have got this medal who won't have got it. This afternoon, it was the turn of the Bomber Command veterans to receive a newly created clasp in recognition of their service. Presenting these honours, the Prime Minister admitted they were long overdue. A very special day. Uh, you remember those who are left behind, those who lost so very much. 55,573. Imagine the grief of that caused. You know. uh, I'm here talking to you and two of my first crew are buried in Germany. And you look back, the, the life that you've had here for them, it hurts. Honoured to be here. For the veterans of the Arctic Campaign and Bomber Command, there is sadness that for so long their efforts and sacrifices went unrewarded. However, there is today a sense of joy and elation that they finally have the recognition they deserve, not just for them, but for their comrades. Rosie Layden, Forces News in Downing Street.